Good day to you Earth people, and um, may I say non-Earth people as well. I don't really want to um, uh, disclude anyone here. But anyway, we're looking at Temple Run 2 on iOS. Uh, also come out on the Android and Windows Phone 8. We look fairly similar. It was the sequel to uh, uh, Temple Run, I believe. Come out in 2013 by Amanji Studios. The idea is the same. You have to run and run and run, collect as many coins as you can. Um, and survive, well, as long as you can, and get as much distance. Now, the graphics are far superior to the original Temple Run. There's a lot more different obstacles here. So rather than just do an update, they've actually redesigned the whole thing. Uh, this version lends itself to uh, expansion, apparently. Uh, there's already been a few expansions since it came out in 2013, which will uh, hopefully come to on this run. But um, it does look rather gorgeous. One of the main things is it isn't so square. Uh, the the uh, roadways or Great Wall, wherever we're on, does like curve around a bit. Runs a bit quicker. And I love this bit, the water, as I smash into a log. Now the controls uh, are basically tilting the phone or the device left and right. Uh, swiping up the screen with your finger makes the character jump. Swiping down makes them uh, duck or slide along, which I should have done in that water jump. Originally you're chased by three uh, monkeys, this one's replaced by one uh, demon uh, monkey. I just hit a power up there, gives us um, some distance, so run as far as you can, collect as many coins as you can. But one thing you shouldn't do with this game is actually uh, pay any real money buying stuff. Uh, when I got it, it's a free download, I think it still is, so can't go wrong there, as we picked up a magnet. Right, lots of different environments, it's all gone a bit narrow. Explosions trying to put you off to make you fall down. Right, oops, as we just run into fire. So hopefully we'll get gradually better, so I'll show you a bit of a decent length. We go again. But these games are extremely addictive. Uh, don't let the scenery either side distract you as you go down this zip line. But uh, yeah, you need reflexes. Um, well, yes, reflexes, really. Um, once you get used to the environments, you sort of like get an understanding of what could happen, so you've got a bit of a pre-warning. Um, swipe left there to go uh, left and vice versa. Uh, do it too late and you run completely off the wall and die. Uh, there's bridges here. Uh, well hopefully we'll, we'll get to the mine shaft as well because that's a really nice touch. You're actually in a mine car uh, on a bit of a dodgy track leaning left and right to go around corners and also ducking if there's any sort of like sores uh, in going to cut your head off. Right, swipe down, get under that log. There's a mincer there we just jumped over. Ah, and also as well, like the original, the uh, road can go a bit narrow every now and again, so I should have leant left. There's a number of different characters you can um, unlock or select. At the start, it's just this guy and his female equivalent. There's a bit Lara Croftish with her backpack on. Um, other characters which are, um, well, we'll have a look at in the menu at least. You have to um, get a pay with collected coins, which I haven't got nearly enough. Playing this on an iPhone 4RS, I believe it plays the same on the iPad and everything else, although, of course, with the iPad you've got a bigger screen. I'm not sure you'll be able to tell in recording if it was a, a phone or a, an iPad, though. Obviously, the bigger the screen, the easier the game is. So we've got 750 meters. Let's go over this thing. Are we doing better? Maybe. But I like the music in the background, so like drums and, uh, well, passive music, I should say. Right, we've got that magnet, so all the coins are just uh, suck into us. There we go. Draw rate's really good. It's a bit quicker than its uh, predecessor, so Amanda did well redesigning the, uh, the the engine at least. I think it's called the Unity engine. But uh, the main difference is, is well, it, it looks glorious. The surrounding scenery there it does look does look great. I mean, I can't believe I actually am playing this on a phone. Doesn't technology go uh, forward quickly? Right, the mine shaft. Right, duck under that saw. Lean right. Right. Whoops. <laughs> I should I should have lent left there. So there's a um, you can pick up these green uh, crystally things to continue your go or buy them, which you shouldn't do. So I won't be out safe because I haven't got any crystals. So that's one of the differences as well. When you die, you might not necessarily be dead. You might have an extra go left. Right. I've got two thousand five hundred meters of three or something. That's a bit of invincibility. I haven't speed up the film. Right, we're back. 
chance. Oh, oh, I don't know what that chest was. You can also control Usain Bolt in this. But uh, he's a, a payable character, but to be honest, they all run. They all run the same. It's just graphically different. I think that chest controlled a firework, something to do with the 4th of July celebrations. So yeah, they do every while, every now and again, do an update to the game. It's possible that um, if you're watching this and it's recorded a few months ago, then uh, there might be some extra bits as well. But uh, yeah, there's loads and lo there's Bolty. There's loads and loads of different obstacles in this. Buzz saws and flames. You name it. Water. I think we'll try Scarlet Fox. See if she's a bit better. And there's your upgrades there. She saw briefly. There's Barry Bones. Don't know what he's up to. Karma Lee. She's a bit Snow Whiteish. Francisco Montoya. Yes. Uh, for some reason, Zach Wonder, American football man. And Montana Smith, an old washed up Indiana Jones clone. Right. Let's see if this girl can do any better. She's got a backpack on. The guy equivalent didn't. So I don't know why she needs a backpack and he doesn't. Um, it, maybe it's containing makeup and mirrors and all that sort of business. But I don't know. But this game never ends. You just keep running and running and running till you die. You've stolen the artifact at the start. And um, I don't think it was worth it because you're never going to escape. Bit of a power up. Uh, the game, as you might have noticed, uh, is completely randomly generated. So the obstacles might seem similar, and the order is different, and the length's different. But uh, this is my favourite bit, the water. I'd love to have a go at this in real life, maybe without the obstacles there. But um, this, this water shoot seems great fun. Right, so it's a chest, which we've missed. So, gaps in the road to look out for, dodgy bridges, stones to running to road goes similar well it was tighter oh buzz saw there but it's pretty keen for you not to steal the artifact I think it's a yes and if you bump into the end of the obstacles this chasing uh, monkey thing will uh, get distance if you hit twice in close uh, close timing he will actually kill you whoa it's a bit tight but without running again so we've got a bit of respite this is very narrow here but I like the original Temple Run, that's great, but this this adds a whole new dimension to it. Uh, hopefully it's still free, so you haven't got it, and you do have a, a, an iPhone or an iPad or an Android or Windows 8, I wholly recommend it. Time seems to accelerate when playing these games, but um, rest assured you may, you may get addicted to it for a little while. Let's go as far as you can, but for free, I think it's well worth a look. Well done, Amanji. I don't know if you're going to do a Temple Run 3, but I'd imagine you're just going to keep upgrading this. Right, duck under that, good. Duck under that. There's a rock there under that. Well, this is this is going well this time. How far have we got? I think this is the best go so far. Whee! That's it. Don't lose your artifact. That's good. Oh. There was a green crystal there, which would have given us an extra go should we die, so that might have been worth it. Uh, blue coins are worth the most, they only turn up after you've got a certain distance, so as soon as you start seeing blue, you know, whoops, <laughs> you know it's a good go, but I've just I've just run into stone and died. Yes, yeah, so I think I've shown you a, quite a lot of the gameplay there of Temple Run 2. We've shown all the environments, well, to date at least. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that one by Manji Studios. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.